Welcome to Dear Side Pursue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, can single men and women be really content without a partner? Absolutely they can. Being in a relationship does not define you. Many people feel that because they're not in a partnership, they're embarrassed or they feel like they're being judged because they're single. No one is judging you. Trust me, there are many people in relationships that aren't happy. So it's something that you just have to understand that your choice is to be where you want to be. No one should be telling you anything. And if you're putting out there that you're frustrated about being single, well then maybe it's time to change the scenario. But if you're happy and content being single, then that is where you should be. Being in a relationship can be wonderful. There can be some great things that come out of it. But when you're single, you've got the freedom to do whatever the hell you want to do and with whoever you want to be with. You can travel. I have a lot of friends who are single who have travel companions and they go all sorts of different places. Every year they choose a new adventure. That is such a great thing to do if you're single. People will say, well, I'm, I'm lonely. I, I don't really get out as much as I'd like to. You're in charge of your existence and what you allow and don't allow to happen. If you're not happy being single, then you have to change up what's going on in your life. You maybe have to change your environment, bring new people into your life. Not everyone has to have an exclusive, committed relationship. Some people have been there and decided, you know what? I kind of like having my own free time and doing what I want to do when I want to do it. It's not for everybody. Do what makes you happy. Being single has a lot of benefits. It's a great place to be sometimes. As I said before, you can be lonelier in a relationship than not in a relationship. Some people don't choose well. They end up in a committed situation that is really going nowhere and they don't know what to do. But sometimes you become dependent on being in a relationship and you don't know how to get out of it. So when you're single you're and you're maybe open to receiving something later on, that's cool too. But if you're happy being single and you have a lot of friends and adventures that you go on on a regular basis, you can absolutely be content in that environment. I've been there before. I loved it. I also love being married. I like both sides of the spectrum. I'm lucky enough to be in a partnership where my husband is actually very open and if I want to do something, I do it. Same for him. And that's what a great partnership is. You're not controlling, you're not holding each other down. If you're single and you have a very full life, you have lots of friends that you do things with on a regular basis, you have the travel companion as I talked about, you have maybe um, you've joined a club of some type that you regularly attend. All these kind of things make your life full and you're understanding that this is enough for me right now. It's great. I really enjoy it. Sometimes it's, it's not easy to meet a partner and you sit down and you say to yourself, okay, you weigh it all out. Is it worth it for me to go on all these dating sites and go through all that? Or am I okay here? Sometimes if you're single and having a really great time is when you actually meet somebody without even trying. But if you don't want a relationship at all, that is okay. It's wonderful to know who you are, accept who you are, and be happy with your choice. That is the bottom line here, is to be happy with the decisions that you make throughout your life. And if you're not happy, change it up. Continuing to evolve as your individual self and checking off the, all those things on your bucket list, you're not going to have time to miss being in a relationship anyway because you're too busy fulfilling things that are important to you that you really want to do. And as I said before, sometimes relationships can restrict that from happening. Being single and independent isn't for everyone. But if you surround yourself with like-minded people who also understand how fun this can be, you're never going to have a dull moment in your life. You're always going to have something to look forward to because you're a go-getter. You're putting things on the calendar. You're not feeling sorry for yourself because you've made a choice that this is where you want to be. 
Some single people have friends with benefits. They have a situation and that can work really well without the major commitment. That's a good place for a lot of people. And it's not to be a judged place because they've got a reciprocated scenario with somebody else who's on the same page as them. And that can be really great too. So you've got intimacy, you've got somebody that you respect, but you also have your single life where you come and go as you please. The important thing to remember is as a single person, you bring just as much to the table if you're out with your couple of friends as they do. You've got interesting conversations you can talk about and they've got things to talk about. If you're single, not by choice, just have a great attitude. Live your life with enthusiasm, with confidence and happiness. Be kind to people that you talk to. Eventually someone will come your way. Don't get jaded because something happened in your past that now you're single and you feel like you're, you're you know, you don't have a lot to offer. You do have a lot to offer. Just stay positive. Whatever status you choose to be in, single, in a relationship, in a friends with benefits scenario, embrace it. That's where you want to be. That's what makes you happy. Don't let anybody else tell you what you should do. Yes, you can have a very content life being single. Thank you so much for tuning into your Cyber Studio today. Please leave your comments, please subscribe, and click like on the video. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day. Bye bye.